Hey there. Today, I want to talk to you about someone who's been making some serious waves in the tech world in the last couple of years, Jason Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, NVIDIA, isn't it just a company that makes graphic cards for gaming? Well, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but that is pretty far away from the truth. Well, let me tell you, there is so much more than that, and a big part of it is thanks to Jason's vision and leadership. But before we dive into all the amazing things that Jensen and NVIDIA are doing in AI, I want to take a moment to talk about Jensen's backstory. You see, Jensen is an immigrant, just like yours truly, okay? He came to the United States from Taiwan when he was just a kid, I think around nine years old or 10 years old, and he worked his way up from humble beginnings. In fact, uh, he used to be a dishwasher at Danny's, and at the very Danny's um, itself, he later on founded the idea of NVIDIA with two of his friends, the other co-founders of NVIDIA. Isn't that awesome? The guy who's now leading one of the most valuable tech companies in the world started out washing dishes. Wow. I don't know about you, but I think that is incredibly inspiring. It just goes to show you that with hard work and determination and a bit of ingenuity, uh, anyone can achieve great things, no matter where they come from. Yes, there may be some luck involved, but luck always requires preparation to manifest itself, in my opinion. Now, Jensen's story is a testament to the American dream, and I think it's a reminder that immigrants have so much to offer to this beautiful country. Anyway, back to NVIDIA and AI. Under Jensen's leadership, NVIDIA has become an absolute powerhouse in the world of artificial intelligence. They've created these uh, chips called GPUs that can process massive amounts of data at lightning speeds. And that's what's powering a lot of the AI breakthroughs uh, today. And, um, you know, it wasn't always like that. Actually, Jensen said that, uh, again, it was kind of lucky because it turns out that the GPUs, the graphics processing units that they've been working on with NVIDIA, uh, just happened to be the perfect uh, infrastructure for AI to be trained on today. So there you have it. Um, I mean, just look at all of the things is NVIDIA is working on. They've got the AI supercomputer called Megatron that can do 2.3 trillion calculations per second. That's mind boggling. And they're using it to tackle some of the biggest challenges facing humanity, like for example, climate change and the uh, disease research. Okay, now they can basically simulate pretty much everything. I even heard they're simulating a quantum computer, which is kind of crazy to me because how can you simulate something that you don't know how, I mean, you know what, you know what I mean? It's kind of crazy, uh, very abstract, but they're doing it. So, but what really stuck to me was something Jensen said in a recent interview uh, with 60 Minutes. I think it actually just aired yesterday. He talked about how AI is going to revolutionize every industry from healthcare to transportation to entertainment. And he didn't shy away from addressing the concerns people have about AI taking away jobs. In fact, he said that um, he has a, well, basically he has a really interesting perspective on it. Let me share it with you. Jensen believes that as AI makes companies more productive, and profitable, it will actually lead to more job creation, not less. He thinks that humans will always have an important role to play, even as machines become more advanced. And he emphasized the importance of using AI responsibly and ethically to make sure it benefits everyone. I think, uh, you know, I don't know about you, but I find that it's really assuring that one of the leading voices in AI, at least on the outside, we don't know what's going on in his head, but it, on the outside, he's thinking about the well-being of humanity when it comes to AI. It's easy to get caught up in the doomsday scenarios about AI, but hearing Jensen's optimistic and thoughtful perspective gives me a little bit of hope for the future. Let me know what you think about that. Oh, and before I forget, I know some of you investor types out there are always looking for the next big thing. Well, let me tell you, NVIDIA stock has been on the absolute tear lately. Their market cap has shot up to over $2 trillion, <clears throat> and they're showing no signs of slowing down. But hey, 
don't just take my word for it. Do your own research and make your own decisions. Kind of like, uh, I mean, I, I guess I got a little lucky. I bought it like below 200 bucks after the NFT crash, okay? Because <laughs> NVIDIA was helping out a lot with crypto as well and still still is. Um, but at the end of the day, though, what really excites me about NVIDIA and Jensen Huang uh, isn't just the stock price or the market cap. It's the incredible potential they're unlocking with AI and the way Jensen is using his platform to inspire and uplift people. I think it's great. As an immigrant myself, seeing someone like Jensen succeed at such a high level is a powerful reminder that anything is possible. So here's to Jensen, all right? NVIDIA and the amazing things they're doing with AI. I can't wait to see what the future holds. I think it's going to be a very interesting year, and maybe a year and a half. I mean, this year is going to be crazy, <laughs> for sure. And I hope you will all join me on this exciting journey. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, stay curious and keep dreaming big. And don't forget, adapt and create. Bye-bye.